Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this good old how to use this medication video. Today we will be covering how to use amoxicillin, one of the most used antibiotics worldwide. And in the upcoming weeks I will be covering different kind of antibiotics like amoxicillin with clavulanic acid, penicillins, gentamicins. If these videos are done, you can find them in the description below. Furthermore, if you're watching my channel for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer. And this video comes with a disclaimer, this is meant purely educational, this is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, you guessed it, always check always contact your own doctor. Now quickly, let's get started. Now the generic name of this medication is amoxicillin and it's known under hundreds of brand names, most of them also called amoxicillin. It's available as tablets, oral suspension and as injections. Now then, how to use amoxicillin? You swallow the tablet whole with half a glass of water or you resolve the powder in half a glass of water and you drink it. It's important here that you do so at fixed times, for example, during breakfast and during your dinner, so you will not miss a dose. The duration of treatment depends on the severity of your infection and the location, but usually it's around 5 to 10 days. In extreme cases, however, it can be way longer, 6 weeks up until even 6 months. It's important here that you do not interrupt your treatment and you finish it completely, even if your symptoms disappear before the treatment has ended. Because this doesn't mean the bacteria have disappeared as well, therefore the treatment is usually continued for at least 48 hours after the disappearance of symptoms. Now then, when to use amoxicillin? Amoxicillin is a wide spectrum antibiotic, which means it can be used to treat thousand different types of bacteria. Therefore, amoxicillin is often used when the microorganism that causes the infection is unknown. The downside of these wide spectrum antibiotics is that they also attack our good bacteria, the bacteria in our intestines that usually help us. This can explain some of the side effects amoxicillin has, like stomach complaints, diarrhea, but more on that later. Now, amoxicillin is used when the microorganism is unknown and therefore can be used to treat upper respiratory tract infections like a sinusitis, lower respiratory tract infections like a pneumonia, urogenital tract infections like chlamydia, and gastrointestinal infections, for example, the H. pylori bacteria that can cause stomach ulcers, infections in your bones like osteomyelitis or prosthetic joint infections, and lastly, it can be used to treat severe skin and soft tissue infections. Now this brings us to the correct dosage to use of amoxicillin, and it's rather hard and boring to give you a precise description. It depends on the age of the patient, the location of the infection, the severity of the infection, the kidney function, body weight, and the expected causative bacteria. Therefore, I will only provide you with some general guidelines. Always precisely follow the prescription your doctor gave you. That's very important. Now, for oral use, tablets or suspensions, the usual dose for adults and children weigh more than 40 kilograms is 250 to 500 milligrams every eight hours or 750 to 1000 milligrams every 12 hours. In serious infections, these dosages can be increased to 750 to 1000 milligrams every 8 hours for 10 days. And what if you forgot a dose? If it takes less than 4 hours until your next dose, then just skip it and take that dose at the end of your treatment. This then brings us to the side effects, and unfortunately, amoxicillin has some. I will list the most common ones here. More than 10% of all people will experience diarrhea. 1 to 10% will experience nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, and a skin reaction, such like exanthema. 0.1 to 1% of people will experience dizziness, a headache, and a super infection. This can occur after prolonged and repeated use. It's a condition in which most of the bacteria vulnerable for amoxicillin die, which leaves room for the growth of a resistant bacteria, or yeast, which is a super infection. Now, very rarely we see an anaphylactic shock, a convulsion, or a drug fever. This then brings us to safety. Amoxicillin is safe to use with all types of food and even with alcohol. However, it can cause dizziness as a side effect. And if you're experiencing dizziness, it is not safe for you to drive when using amoxicillin. However, within a few days after using amoxicillin, these side effects will decrease, your dizziness will decrease, and then it's safe for you to drive again while using amoxicillin. Amoxicillin is also safe to use when you're pregnant or breastfeeding. 
However, you should stop breastfeeding if you're using amoxicillin and your child gets diarrhea, candidiasis, or a skin rash. And lastly, don't use amoxicillin if you're hypersensitive to penicillins because there may be some overlap there. This time brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned a lot and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them. Furthermore, share this video with everybody you know that is using amoxicillin so I might help them as well. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and let YouTube know this video is worth recommending to other viewers. Furthermore, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss next week's awesome video. See you then. Bye bye.